A new at six, Naval Station Norfolk will soon become home to a new fleet of unmanned aircrafts. Yeah, they are called MQ-25A Stingray, but it will be a while before they take flight. Photojournalist Jason Wall shows us more. The Navy has designated Naval Station Norfolk to be the future home station of the MQ-25 Stingray. The MQ-25 Alpha is a carrier-based unmanned aerial system, so it is a drone carrier-based. And what it does is it enhances the capability of the carrier air wings here for aerial refueling and for reconnaissance. It extends the range of the strike power of the carrier air wing, but it also uh, decreases some of the burden that we have on some of our F-18 Hornet aircraft with the refueling side of things. But Naval Station Norfolk, it'll be 20 more aircraft coming into our airfield and 600 sailors with the squadron. I'm excited for the change. I think it makes sense to bring the MQ-25 here to Naval Station Norfolk for a lot of reasons. The airfield compatibility is what they need to. It's close to carrier operations, being that it is a carrier-based platform that is coming out here. For the final environmental assessment, we need the public's input. At this public meeting, we will be able to express to the public what our plans are here for the MQ-25 Alpha coming to Naval Station Norfolk. We looked at a host of uh, resource areas like traffic, air quality, noise, safety, um, and determined that um, there's no significant impact. There should be nothing that the folks are concerned about. The aircraft, when they come here, are going to use the same flight patterns that the U.S. Navy already uses flying out of Chambers Field. They may notice a different sound, but it should not be any louder than what they've already experienced there with the E-2s and the CMV-22 Ospreys and the helicopters flying out of our airfield. 